Words from the Church for the 28th of January, 2021. Hi, Father Clement Paul greeting you with Words from the Church. And so we continue to hear of and experience the ravages, the devastation of COVID-19 as it spreads in our community. What we can do about that? Confidently hope and pray that we will be able to wrestle this threat to the ground. And how are we going to be able to do that? By being obedient, by keeping to the protocols that we've been asked to keep. Staying at home unless we have to go out. Also, sanitizing, always washing our hands, and at the same time wearing our masks and keeping safe distance. Wearing our masks and keeping safe distance, especially when we go out. Avoid welcoming visitors or going to visit each other. If we do that, then we begin to minimize the, the threat that is around us. But that's, for, that's one way of doing that. And remember, I ask us to confidently hope that we will be able to get rid of this pandemic, or at least control its spread very soon. If we obey the protocols, then we may not even need the two and a half weeks lockdown. We may not. You never know. But then the only way we know that is if we make every effort to ensure that we all keep safe and that those who may, be, may have experience or come into contact with someone, with a victim, that we get help as soon as possible, then I'm certain with that we'll be able to deal with this pandemic. And then talking about confident hope, remember that the the, 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 the very practical way of addressing this too is that we have the virtue, we cultivate a deeper virtue of faith, hope, and love. With these virtues, I know that we will survive. And then we talk about prayer. Please continue to pray for our new bishop. But before I go there, I want us to remember as well that with our churches continuing to be closed, we do need to stay tuned. Yes, stay tuned to God. Stay tuned to our families with whom we live. Stay tuned to each other through social media. Let's use social media creatively and productively. And let's use that media praying with and for each other that God will give us the strength and the courage we each need in order to cope with what afflicts us. But let's use social media in a positive way, in a good way. And before we proceed to thank God for calling Bishop Elect Neil Scantlebury to be our bishop, join me in congratulating Bishop Anthony Hamden Dixon who, in fact, 50 years ago, was ordained on the 29th of January as the first bishop of what was then called the Diocese of Bridgetown, Kingstown. Let us pray that God will continue to bless him as we offer our congratulations to him on his 50th anniversary as a bishop. Next, please bear in mind that the 2nd of February, is the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord Jesus in the Temple. And on that day, you are invited, you are asked and invited to pray for all religious sisters, brothers, priests, and members of the lay consecrated life. And that would mean praying in, here in Barbados for our Palatine priests. They are a special order that they belong to. Let's remember to pray for our Ursuline sisters. As you know, they, they have served us well over 100 years and have served us well in, and faithfully 
in this diocese and all the world over. Let us pray for our Franciscan sisters. As you know, they minister as, as teachers in the St. Patrick's School, the Bandit St. Patrick's School, and one of them also is the diocesan coordinator of catechetics. And then let us remember in a very special way the Living Water community. They, 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 they serve us well here. They've not been here very long, but for the time they've been here, they've really had to renew and rejuvenate the church of Bridgetown. I pray God's blessing on them. Let us pray in a very special way for the household. And in addition to the household, let's remember to pray for those consecrated people who are living among their families and in their homes. They have both married and single consecrated living water members. And of course, we must not forget to pray for our consecrated lay sister, Sister Cheryl. So remember all of that on the 2nd of February. Then, on that honor to Bishop-elect Neil Sebastian Scantbury. Let us thank God for him. Let us thank God for him and pray for him as he prepares to come to us and to prepare for his ordination. That, of course, we know is under threat because he would like as many people as possible to be there with him as he receives his Episcopal orders. So please pray for him as he comes to us and pray for our diocese that we too will prepare to receive him and to journey with him. So let us pray for our bishop elect in thanksgiving to God for appointing him and for his saying yes. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for calling Father Neil Sebastian Scantlebury to shepherd your people in Barbados. As he prepares for his Episcopal ordination, send your Holy Spirit to strengthen him to carry out this important mandate as our bishop. Prepare us too to receive him and journey with him. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Mary, mother of priests, pray for him. Saint Joseph, pray for him. Saint Sebastian, pray for him. You have been viewing words from the church. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.